Hello boys and girls, so in this video we are going to show you about the home based experiment simple harmonic motion. At the end of this video, students should be able to determine the acceleration due to gravity G using a simple pendulum and second, to investigate the effect of large amplitude oscillation to the accuracy of G obtained from the experiment. An oscillation of a simple pendulum is an example of a simple harmonic motion if the mass of the spherical bob is a point mass. The mass of the string is negligible and the amplitude of the oscillation is small, less than 10 degree. According to the theory of SHM, the period of oscillation of a simple pendulum T is given by Equation 1, where L is the length of the pendulum and G is the acceleration due to gravity. By squaring both sides of equation 1, we obtain equation 2. And by comparing equation 2 with the linear equation, Then we plot a graph of T square against L and we can obtain the linear graph show, as shown. The value of G can be obtained from the gradient M equal to 4 pi square over G. By rearrange, we can find that G equal to 4 pi square over M. Thank you Madam Nureheim for the explanations of theory. Now we move on to the list of apparatus we need to use for this experiment. We need a piece of string or thread about 105cm, a small padlock or key change, stopwatch function in smartphone, A meter rule or measurement step or 30 cm ruler in order to measure the length of the string. A protector we use to measure the angle. Or another alternative, you might install smart protractors in your smartphone and use it to measure the angle. A pair of scissors or a cutter. A suitable place to hang the pendulum. You might have many alternatives for the hanging place. You can use a portable standing fan, drying rug, a beam between two chairs more than one meter high, or clothes or book cabinets or bookshelf. We will set up a simple pendulum as shown in figure. Tie the padlock to the string and then measure and mark the length on the string. Forty centimeter. 50 cm, 60 cm, 70 cm, 80 cm, 90 cm, and the last one, 100 cm. Then, we are going to hang the pendulum at suitable place. Sir Rosie will show you the alternative that you might have in order to hang the pendulum. Alternative 1, you might tie it to a portable standing fan. Alternative 2, you might tie it on a cloth drying rug. 
and this alternative will be the easiest one for you. Alternative 3, you might have a bin between two chairs and then tie your pendulum on the bin. Alternative 4, you might attach a rod or pencil on a bookshelf but to do this, you need a very strong masking tape and then you tie your pendulum on the rod or pencil. After set up your pendulum, remember to take the picture of your complete setup. In SHM, one of the things we are interested in is the period T time for one oscillations. The period T can be related to the acceleration due to gravity G as we have already explained in the earlier of the videos. So, what is meant by one oscillations? One oscillation is considered as one complete cycle swinging one way and then return to its original starting position. So in experiment, we are going to measure time for several oscillations. Then we can calculate the periods of oscillations by dividing the time taken with the numbers of oscillations. So let's move on to the first objective of this experiment to determine the acceleration due to gravity G using a simple pendulum. Set the length L of string at 40 cm. Use small amplitude Angle of release less than 10 degree from vertical. Release the pendulum at an angle less than 10 degree from the vertical. Allowing some time for the oscillation to stabilize before we can start timing. Start timing after several complete oscillations. Measure the time t for 10 oscillations using the stopwatch function in your smartphone. Record time t. Repeat the operation and calculate the average value for t. Repeat the experiment for different value of length L of the pendulum. Complete the Observations table, divide by 10 to get the periods of the oscillations, t, and then calculate t squared. Then plot a graph of t squared against L. From the gradient of the graph, determine the value of acceleration due to gravity g. Second objective of the experiment, we are going to investigate the effect of large amplitude oscillations to the accuracy of G obtained from the experiment. For this purpose, use large amplitude, set angle 70 degree from the vertical, fix the length at 100 cm. Release the pendulum at 70 degrees from the vertical. Record time taken for 5 oscillations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
Repeat the operations and calculate the average value. Calculate the period T by dividing with 5. Using the value of L and T, calculate the acceleration due to gravity G for large amplitude using equations given in theory T equal to 2 pi square root L over G. Write a full report. The report must contain the following title, objective, theory, apparatus, procedure, Observations include data tabulations and processing, discussion and conclusion. Plagiarism is strictly not allowed when writing report. For Procedure 10 in Home-Based Experiment Guide, in order to compare the experimental value with standard value, you need to show the calculations of percentage difference between experimental value of G obtained for small and large amplitudes with the standard value. The standard value of G is 9.81 meter per second squared. Under discussion, state the precautions of the experiment. Identify the source of errors that affect the accuracy of your experimental results. Give suggestions to overcome the error. So, boys and girls, good luck when you do this experiment at home. If you have any further questions and issue on it, don't hesitate to contact your lecturers.